They say if you're finding nickels, you'll find gold rings. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys, I'm out here on a football field. I was gonna get torn up, so I got permission to hunt it. Uh, I think it's getting torn up Monday morning. This is a Saturday. So this is all gonna get replaced with uh, the fake, you know, grass and all that. But uh, yeah, the dozer's gonna come in here and tear this all up. This field has only been here for about five or six years, I think. So ain't gonna be nothing old, but we might be able to find some good jewelry. And some coins, and who knows what. So I haven't ran my uh, Equinox in a while. I might have to make sure I'm running it right. Because there should be quite a few targets on here because I don't think anybody hunts this because... Okay, that sounds good. Now let's check it out. I have my head mount on for the first time. Why is that acting like that? I have never heard it act like that, but... Huh. Oh, and this ground is hard as a rock, too. What is the deal with this thing? Okay, so I think that's the noise it makes when the battery's almost dead, because it's nine volt. So I took it out, did the touch the tongue, nothing. So put a new battery in it. And like a newbie, I got my ring on, I got my watch on. I just get out here and I get so excited I want to start hunting, so. But I think they've had the water off on this field for a while, too. But man. Okay, what is it? That is a piece of brass. I don't know. Looks like one of the chick, 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 chick things. That's why it was such a good target. Nice little piece of brass. Okay. On to the next one. Wow. I don't know if you can see that's jumping all the way up in the 34. Let's check it out. I've got very little time on this Equinox, guys. I'm, I'm really new with it. My last one I had was a Sovereign GT. And I got pretty... I knew the machine enough to feel good about running this one i'm uh, you know haven't got out and detected in a while and uh it uh you don't use it and you forget all the functions you got to do to get it going i should have watched a video last night to but i didn't i'm telling you this ground is hard oh this is like concrete <laughs> Hush. I mean, usually deeper is better, right? I mean, it tells you it's older, but this ground is. Oh, no, I'm seeing something. Seeing something in there. It's round. I don't know what the heck that is. A pipe? Oh, geez. What's this doing out here? Piece of, like a coupler for a conduit or something. But we found it. Aluminum. She'll melt. And I gotta remember where silver pops on this thing. I should probably do the right thing and shut this off and spend 10 minutes and look at all the controls on here and what comes up at what but i get so excited it's like go 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 i gotta hunt right now i think that's just that can slaw 
Okay, I got a couple signals in here. Bouncing all over. Maybe something right on top. That sounds like it's right on top. Yep, piece of foil. Nope, it was just the foil that was giving us all those targets. Okay, got another little target here. Still nothing, huh? Oh, wait. Must be little. Of course, I got my watch and my ring on still. <laughs> newbie really that's what it was a little screw oh it's a cleat yeah a little cleat okay got another little target here I'm trying to do plugs the way I would normally do it which I don't do you know I don't not a lot of grass out here in the desert <laughs> so it's not in there Okay, we know the pop tops now. We got another good 11. Probably garbage, but let's find out. Oh gosh. I know I'm almost finding my ring useful because I can keep going like that and making sure this thing's working. Ah, looks like trash. Yep. Another little piece of aluminum. Aluminium. Oh, wait. Yep, more trash. Okay. So now we can pinpoint it a little bit better. I guess it's not that deep. Sure hope this head mount turns out okay. Oh crap, there it is. <laughs> What's that say, 1964 George Washington? <laughs> Surprised to find a bottle cap like that out here. I would think that would be older than six years. I think it says Pepsi. Hmm. Oh well. Well, that was an easy target to get. Canslaw. Yep. Okay, got another signal. It's not the greatest. my lash really like this but don't like that that sucks I have to put some glue in it super glue or something huh okay 
can I not see you? I hear you, I don't see you, and I don't feel you. Hey, look at there, our first coin. Uh, I can make out a shield, frickin' zinc penny. Okay, getting the 23. There might be some trash there, let's find out what it is. Might have to give up on this one. Hey, I found whatever it was. <sighs> Some kind of tube of something. Jeez. Okay, I got a good 16 right here. Okay, it's in the plug. Not in that half. And it's gone. What the heck? Ah. Uh, coin. And it is. So bad, I can't tell. It's the size of a penny. So it's probably, yeah, see how it's all bubbly? It's gotta be a zinc penny. I think we're getting to where the kids were more. I thought they'd be by the gold post, but I think they're down here by the track. Cause all this is, is a practice field. So you got kids at recess and you got practice football. They don't have any games here. Oh, I'd really like a silver or gold ring. All right, it's in our plug here. Use my other hand because my ring's on. Amazing how something can hide that good in that little piece of dirt. You can't even see it. <laughs> right? Wow. I feel it. There it is. Yep. Another Lincoln. Good crisp 13. This won't be a hard one to dig. Hopefully. Get in and out and get on our next target. Okay. There it is. No, I just dropped it. I feel it. There it is. What we get? Oh, we got a nickel. That's a good sign. Eh, I don't see no big uh, Denver stamp up there, so it's not going to be a silver nickel. But they say if you're finding nickels, you'll find gold rings. You know, rule of thumb is that is. I cannot, oh, 1980. Cool. All right. I'm happy to find a nickel because I've always heard if you're finding nickels, you'll find a gold ring. Now, it's probably with some of the older detectors, but. Okay, we got a good 13. I don't even think we're gonna have to dig for this one. And it's not, it is a pencil. Huh. Wonder if that's some kind of like real thin brass or something. Oh, sorry, my batteries ran out. And of course, uh, I've got uh, five batteries. I only brought one dead one and one full one. And left the other three charging at home, fully charged forgot to grab them so I got one charging I got this one half charge so 
I'm just gonna keep, keep turning it on and turning it off when I get a signal. We got a good signal there, 22. Only one notch, so it should be real close to the surface. Oh, yes! Guys, <laughs> I see something that looks gold right there. Yes! Now, could be fake jewelry because this is a school, but do you guys see it right there? Is it real? Is it fake? I don't know, but do you see it? Let's pull it out real, real slow together here. Look at that. Definitely a ring. <laughs> All right, guys. It's probably fake. I don't s oh, my old eyes couldn't see it printing on there or not. Pretty light. So, did I disappear? Nope. I don't care, I'll take it. It's a ring. Even if it's fake, it's a ring. Right on top, too. Let me get my uh, old man glasses on. Let's see if I could see anything out of my phone. About how cool is those things, huh? Um... I do not see any stamp in there with uh, my readers on, so... Anyways... We found a ring. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. What did that ring up at? <clears throat> 22. So I don't know if silver rings up at that or gold. Well, this obviously gold, but I, I don't think it's real because it's pretty light. I think if it was silver or gold, it'd have a little bit more weight than that. Okay, guys. There's our haul for the day. Uh, nothing exciting, really. But, uh, you know, just some, uh, quite a bit of aluminum. Uh, that'll go in my melt, melt pile. I melt all this stuff up and pour little ingots. So, kind of fun. But uh, anyways, and yeah, got some pennies, couple dimes, couple nickels. Nickels are good. Some casings, probably look like 38 special maybe. I don't, I'm not too, I can't read it without my loop. Uh, I found this off camera. I don't know if that's like a titanium or something. Maybe it's like a plug that goes in the kid's ears. Oops. But, um, and then our fakey ring, I do believe. Uh, once I get home, I'll loop it. Or I'll put in the description, uh, I'll put in the script, you know. I'll put it right here, whatever, what it is. But hey, it's a ring, we found it. And if it was a gold ring, we'd have found it. If it was a silver ring, we would have found it. Uh, and then this, which I believe is probably just some kind of brass or copper washer. I don't think it's a ring but uh, came up like a ring. So anyways, guys, um, nothing exciting. You know, I wish I'd have found something better for you, but I just hope this has encouraged you guys to get out there and hunt. Um, you can't win every time, but uh, I mean, I did pick up a lot of trash. I did, I did make some money. <laughs> uh, not enough to buy a can of beans, but uh, hey, but yeah, get, get out there and hunt, whatever it is, if it's, you know, fossils or, or coin hunting or you know uh, just cool rocks pretty rocks uh, get out there and do it I mean I soaked up a lot of vitamin D today I got some good exercise which I definitely need I was in motion for most of the day which is good and uh, I had an opportunity I mean this could have been a really nice diamond ring you know could have been a really nice diamond ring but uh, it's all about the hunt man so thanks for watching guys appreciate it see you on the next one